Right, for this is for copods. Um, raw fits are the same. Um, I mean, I've got a mix of two, so it doesn't really matter. We've got F2 fertilizer. I buy this in big quantities, and then also you've got your plankton, which you have grown over here. It's 10 liters, and then I mix three liters of plankton to the 10 liters, and that will grow for about two to three weeks um, before it will be ready for the copods and the roffets and I have a 15 litre nano tank which I have some Cheeto in there and you can see the copods on the plastic, well glass plastic whatever you want to call it and we have a filter which I use um, this is 53 microns um, if anybody's wondering what microns are, it's the holes between the netting. And we also keep, I have this one, I always keep this in a bit of water because you will get them stuck. And this is a 10 micron filter. Now, as compared to this, this is when they first come out, they go into this one, into some, into a tub like this. Um, then they get fed on a slightly different different mixture to the uh, to the plankton well same but it's just a bit stronger to fatten up a bit more after they came out of the main tank and now when I do this I filter them out into the 53 micron now the excess water when you do filter them out you can put it into another tub um, which is catches the fine babies um, because this net would not catch them anyway so I just filter off into filter straight through keep hold of the water put a bit of food in it give it a couple of hours like about 18 20 hours you'll notice all them you can filter them back out again and then you can discard the water if you wanted to or you can run it through the 10 micron the only thing with the 10 micron the water will go straight through this 10 micron it takes a few minutes for this to drain down so it's going to take a lot longer now use this as a last process and let's just show you right this is a bottle i did earlier um, I can find it. Oh, it's this one. as you can see you've got the roffets and copods in there let me just check it work them all up let's put a bit of turn upside down you can see them all in there it's packed with roffets and copods now this has not had any food earlier to it, I only bottled it about 10 minutes ago so it'll be fine for the moment. Always keep the lids off when you're bottling until you're ready to put the caps on because they haven't got much of, of oxygen obviously. So and to filter out of the main tank I use a straw which I just heated up, kind of bent straight with a bit of airline. So we're just going to filter some of these out now out of this main tank through this net and then we'll go from there so let's just get some uh, netting I use um, I also purchased some I think it's about 90 90 um, net as well this is for praying mantis net I've just got a, a bottle lay around drop it in put the filter so just something for to rest on really this doesn't really catch, it only catches the adults, it's not really good for anything to be honest. Right, let's just uh, right, put this straight in. Now this is the horrible part, yes you do have to suck on the end of the tube, but you'll be fine. As you can see, filtering out, and you can see them uh, squirming around in there, as they come out. As we go back to the tank, you can see see whereabouts they are in the glass. So you just move your end of your straw towards them, and they get pretty much sucked up. I'm not going to suck loads up tonight, um, so it's only a video, obviously. This I do every night. Don't miss a night; just do it every night. It takes about ten minutes. Not even that. Um, right, I've got a few in there. Just get the excess water at the line now if we 
come to the close up you can see them all swimming around in there and then what we want to do is preferably have a tub ready um, I'm just actually gonna have to use this excess water there's none left in there anyway so now all I do is fill a pipette up turn the filter the opposite way and just gently trip the water over the top and as you'll see in a minute none left in the net but they are in the water now you can then filter them out through the finer net if you wanted to before you go to bottling now I do this when they're in this stage when they've been fattened up a bit more this is when I use I, I, I switch to this net and I bottle it using this just use it buy it from any shop really straight into your bottle net straight onto the so it just goes over the hole pour your mixture for you and basically just let it drain it will take a little while to do this because of the how small the holes are but once it's once it's bottled through um, I'm just show you with uh, oh, as you can see it overflowed there a little bit just go down I mean I've actually done this the wrong way I'm supposed to be turning the net upside down and filtering it into here but for this we're not really so fussed right anyway I filtered them through just same process before through make sure they're all gone as you can see look it's, it takes a while for the actual water to, to filter through there's still some left in there and you can see it dripping out and let me just put this back in here for two seconds some might have went in some might not yeah yes let's see as you can see there's little tiny babies in there and you've got the adults and also you've got the roffets in there as well there's not a lot because obviously we haven't filtered a lot we've still got loads left in here um this going back to the plank in two seconds this is my main main one now once this is done i will repeat the process again with the smaller one but i'll let it i'll let it go a little bit stronger um the lights on a little bit more than the the general one um, it just gets it a bit thicker so you can there's something more to, to eat I mean you can buy some of the stuff which is it's like brownie goo um, that you can feed them on as well now this really really smells I'd suggest mixing a little bottle up with water and then doing it that way it will just mix better when the when it hits the air bubbles always put it in the air bubbles it will just disperse it a lot better a lot faster um is there anything else that anybody wants to know then uh, oh before i finish i forgot once i filtered this water out i do replace this with fresh water now say if i did half of this filtered half of the copods out i will put half what I've, whatever i filtered out i'll put half fresh water salted to 1.023 and then I will put a little bit of plankton in there don't overfeed them just feed them every night you'll be fine there's probably about five liters in here and just show you a, a standard size cup I'll probably put that much plankton in so about half a cup full of plankton into this every night and obviously like I say harvest every night and you'll get a good crop every time um, if you do skip a night I mean don't worry about it too much but make sure you feed them if you don't harvest um, it's the most important never never let it go completely clear as clear as this otherwise you're just going to be back to square one and have to start all over again but it can be rescued um, normally what I'd do is I'd send it really really green with the plankton and then just leave it for a few days and come back to it and start a process again but other than that once it's um once it's bottled if you are selling this to anybody make sure that you leave enough room at the top to have a little bit of oxygen and make sure you do put some food in it when just before you send it out the reason is it's got something for them to eat on the way there 
um, because they do get through it pretty quick and the amount that's in here I'd actually have to half this bottle I mean this is only 80 mil not 100 mils to standard ones um, but I'd, I'd usually put 80 mil pods and rough fits in and then I'd put the rest as um, plankton or slightly a bit more 70 and then the rest is plankton just so there's plenty for them to feed on the water's fresh because it's made by me anyway um, plankton's grown by me anyway so I know exactly what's in it from start to finish 